Imagine a world where colossal creatures ruled, a world dominated by the mighty dinosaurs. This was our Earth millions of years ago during the Mesozoic era, a time when the planet was teeming with a variety of these astonishing beasts. The Mesozoic era, often referred to as the Age of Reptiles, spanned over 180 million years, divided into three periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. Each period had its unique dinosaur species, creating a rich tapestry of life that is almost unimaginable today. Picture this, the Triassic period, the dawn of the dinosaurs, where the first of these magnificent creatures began to emerge. The landscape was rugged and the climate was harsh, yet these creatures thrived, evolved and diversified. Then came the Jurassic period, the golden age of the giant dinosaurs. This was the era of the long-necked tree-topping sauropods and the fierce predatory theropods. The world was warm and lush, a paradise for these giants to flourish. Finally, we arrive at the Cretaceous period, the last chapter in the dinosaur saga. Dinosaurs had by now colonized every corner of the earth, from the frigid poles to the scorching deserts. This was the age of the famous Tyrannosaurus rex, a creature so terrifying and awe-inspiring that its name itself means Tyrant Lizard King. But the dinosaurs were not alone. The Mesozoic world was filled with a plethora of other life forms. Pterosaurs ruled the skies, marine reptiles like plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs dominated the oceans and the first mammals began to appear, small and unassuming. This vibrant world of the dinosaurs came to a sudden and tragic end. But what caused this mass extinction? The answer to that question takes us on a journey through time, back to the twilight of the dinosaur era, when a cataclysmic event would change the course of life on Earth forever. The extinction of dinosaurs is one of the greatest mysteries of our planet. Over the years, scientists and researchers have proposed several theories in an attempt to unravel this enigma. Today, we delve into the two leading theories that hold the most weight in the scientific community. First up is the asteroid impact hypothesis. This theory suggests that a colossal asteroid or comet roughly six miles in diameter struck the Earth around 65 million years ago. The impact near what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico would have caused a cataclysmic chain of events, massive firestorms, a global winter, acid rain, and a significant drop in photosynthesis are just some of the devastating effects proposed. The evidence? A layer of sediment found worldwide known as the KT boundary, contains unusually high levels of iridium, an element found in abundance in asteroids. The second theory points to massive volcanic activity, specifically in the Deccan Traps region of modern-day India. Over thousands of years, these eruptions spewed enormous amounts of lava and gas, including sulfur and carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere. This would have led to a drastic change in climate causing a greenhouse effect followed by a significant cooling period. The evidence supporting this theory comes from geological records showing extensive lava flows and the timing of these eruptions aligning with the extinction event. Some scientists propose that these two catastrophic events may have occurred around the same time, creating a deadly one-two punch that the dinosaurs simply couldn't survive. These theories, backed by substantial evidence, offer a glimpse into the potential causes of the extinction event. However, they also raise many questions. How did these events interact and amplify each other? How did some species manage to survive while the mighty dinosaurs perished? These theories provide compelling explanations, but what was the aftermath of this extinction event? The extinction of dinosaurs brought about drastic changes on Earth. It was an event of such magnitude that it marked the end of an era, the Cretaceous period, and sparked the beginning of a new one, the Paleogene period. This period of change is known as the KT boundary, a thin line in the geological record that marks one of Earth's mass extinctions. With the dinosaurs gone, the world became a drastically different place. The skies, once dominated by pterosaurs, were now open to the rise of birds. The oceans, previously home to colossal marine reptiles, saw the emergence of mammals as the new rulers of the waves. 
But the aftermath of the extinction wasn't just about who would fill the void left by the dinosaurs. The planet itself underwent significant transformations. Forests turned into grasslands and the climate shifted, becoming cooler and drier. Yet, amidst all this upheaval, life found a way. New species evolved, adapted and thrived in this drastically different world. Mammals, once small and inconspicuous, began to grow in size and diversity, eventually giving rise to us, humans. The Earth changed dramatically, but the story of life didn't end there. The extinction of dinosaurs isn't just a story of the past, but a lesson for our present and future. The dinosaur's demise is a haunting echo of our current environmental challenges. The meteor that ended the reign of the dinosaurs was a sudden catastrophic event, but today we're witnessing a slow-motion catastrophe as climate change and habitat destruction threaten countless species. Just as the dinosaurs couldn't adapt fast enough to survive their catastrophe, many creatures today are struggling to cope with the rapidly changing conditions. The plight of the polar bear losing its icy home to global warming is eerily similar to the dinosaur's struggle for survival in a world that was changing too quickly. But there's hope in the ashes of the past. By studying the end of the dinosaurs, we're learning valuable lessons about how life responds to catastrophe and how it can recover. We are seeing that life is resilient, that it finds a way to bounce back, even from the brink of extinction. These lessons are informing our approach to conservation today. We're learning that it's not enough just to protect individual species. We need to safeguard entire ecosystems, the complex web of life that supports all species. We're also realizing that we need to act quickly before it's too late. As we contemplate the fate of the dinosaurs, we are reminded of our responsibility to protect the biodiversity of our planet.